Welcome in everyone to another edition of G Rated. I am your host, Gerald Borgay, and I am here with Totri and Sean. And Yahoo! today <laughs> we are blessed to get paid to talk about the Super yes, Mario yes, Brothers yeah. movie. Um, it came out a few weeks ago, but I was, as a diehard Nintendo fan, person that's owned every Nintendo console since like the NES, <laughs> like I was really looking forward to this. Um, general reactions to the movie. I mean, I was looking forward to it literally yeah. <laughs> from the moment that i saw it was coming out i know there was a bunch of heat with the the chris pratt and the mario like yeah. voice at the start mm. i understand it now when yeah. you when you get to the yes. plot you yes. kind of understand why more, it is the way it is and for me like that was honestly my biggest concern like going in was like okay like what is the plot of this movie going to be yeah right. i thought it turned out to be like is well done as they could have made this yeah. kind of movie um, and then all the little details, like from the characters <laughs> running and falling and jumping mm -hmm. to like the exact way that they did it in the <laughs> Nintendo games was yeah. just flawless. The, the attention to detail of the movie was flawless, I mm -hmm. think. Um, but I agree. I mean, uh, Totri liked this line. It was uh, to me, this movie was <laughs> Mario characters doing Mario shit. Yep. Like yeah. it was just it was exactly what it should have been. Like, I, I think. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a random comparison, but like the last Toy Story movie, I hated because all of the other Toy Story movies were just about toys doing toy shit. Mm -hmm. And the last one is like, oh, they're all like it's a super deep movie where like Bo Peep becomes this like badass individual yeah, like strange. who was like not really much of a character in the other movies. Mm -hmm. And Woody abandoned all of his friends like it was a bullshit movie that they assigned a bunch of extra meaning to for no reason. Yeah. yeah. I was afraid they were going to do that with this. They mm -hmm. didn't. It was just fun. Yeah. That's all I wanted out of it. It was very much because Nintendo has been so hesitant after that shitty movie came out in the 90s, yeah. the Mario movie, to like attach themselves and make a movie with their IP. And most video game movies just are, are bad right. in general. They're yeah. not good. This one was good, I think, because they were so faithful to their original content, yes. to their yes. source material. Um, and it really shone through in all of these different little ways um, but we which got, they we, did while also completely kind of recreating the origins of the characters, yes. which I thought was fascinating. I, I did like the twist that it wasn't just a because let, let's be honest, every Mario game is the same plot. So yeah. I was worried. Also, We're saving Peach. What's well, yeah, the plot that, that, be? that was my thing. Well, that was my thing going into it because I I knew damn well I was like this is 2023. Yeah, they right. can't make a movie where Peach is just going to be a victim that no. get, needs to get rescued. Right. So I was like, what is? I was like, I was very curious as to what the plot was actually going to be. And yeah. They Toad well. was the victim. Yeah. <laughs> Toad was the victim. Um, you know, I did like the approach of they're basically fish out of water in this new mm -hmm, world. Yeah. Um, I, I liked that. Also, we got to talk about the casting because you mentioned the Chris Pratt thing. That was my biggest concern. Yeah. Everybody, when they saw the trailer, like, why does he sound like that? Yeah. Why does he yeah. just sound like Chris Pratt? Yeah. And I thought they kind of addressed that in a funny way. I thought Chris Pratt and Charlie Day were fine. Yeah. yeah. Mario and Luigi, they were. Yeah. I yeah. thought I, a specific Chris Pratt was. I mean, like, I was just invested in the character of Mario. Yeah. Yes. Outside of all of the characters fitting in with, like, the actors, I thought Charlie Day was a phenomenal <laughs> Luigi yes. in terms of, like, just being scared, the voice, yes. all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, I mean, Jack Black as Bowser was phenomenal. Yeah. Yes. And then probably one of my personal favorites, and this is just because of the laugh, mm. but Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong having yeah. Seth Rogen's <laughs> laugh was, I never knew I needed that until it happened. I will say by way of a critique, like that was the one thing, is Charlie Day and and Seth Rogen, those were the two where like every time I heard them talk, I was like, okay, that's Charlie Day playing <laughs> right. and that's Seth Rogen playing Donkey Kong. Right. Didn't get that with Chris Pratt, didn't really get that with Jack Black, but I yeah. think as far as doing this kind of thing, Jack Black is far more talented than all of the rest of them. Yeah. Like this yes. is his, he's in his element here. Um, that was he was the standout performer. Yeah. He would he provided oh most God. of the comedy. When it hit him in that at that piano, <laughs> I lost it, bro. Dog. Even the I, first time. The first time. Yeah, yeah, the very first time. I get that after credit scene, of course. Oh was, my God. Uh, yeah, that, that song in general. Peaches, that peaches, was, peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> Peaches is a banger. banger. I've, it's I, a banger. We have listened to that song <laughs> yes, 20 absolutely. different times together. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Certified banger. Um, also, Anya Taylor Joy was a pretty good peach, I thought. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't really have a problem with any of the casting, really. Like, Toad was fantastic. Like, it was a stacked cast. So we yeah. kind of knew that coming in. I also want to shout out the uh, score because. Mm. The way that they incorporated music from the games yes. at like the perfect moments, yes. the like remixes. I, yeah, was great. he saw the movie twice. Yeah, and he noticed the detail. Like yeah, when when Luigi when it's literally like right toward the start after the commercial and they get their like very first call mm -hmm. and it is the Nintendo like load up the screen game. as <laughs> like that. I mean that's just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, and I know you. I'm gonna totally bounce off the question just real real mm -hmm. quick. The dog. 
in that movie yeah. was hilarious. And I like I know I noticed it the first time, but even at the end when they save Brooklyn mm -hmm. and it cuts to the dog and the dog's just like Yeah, just like nods. Like just like, nods like we're cool now. Like it was just Oh phenomenal. yes. I, I was like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, I completely forgot. Like, but yeah, getting back to your original point, the mm -hmm. score was like it goes back to what we were talking about with just like all the little details. Like the attention to detail yeah. was so good, but it also wasn't like overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And it, it it was just like I'm not going to sit here and pretend it was like Citizen Kane, no. but for everything that a Mario movie can be, like it was terrific. Right. Yeah. It was a it was a perfect welcome to the world of Mario yes. and everything that goes yes. on here. My biggest disappointment in it is that they didn't do it en enough, which right. I think they're going to do right. uh, eventually. That yeah. was my thing is I think my biggest complaint was my biggest concerns were twofold. One, that. As a diehard Nintendo person, I got all of the references. I yes. saw all the yes. Easter eggs. Everything was fitting and like it, it meant like it was like for me. Yeah. Yeah. But like if you're not a diehard Nintendo fan, I mean, A, why are you seeing this in the first place? Yeah. But B, you're probably not going to appreciate it as much. And the other one was it was too short. Like it was yes, only 70 I agree. minutes. I agree. Like you were saying, they had all these different worlds. Like there was they no went Yoshi. to Donkey Kong. Yeah. Like, yeah. There was no Yoshi. Like, I feel like they could have died. Yeah, I agree. More. My only point on that, and this is, again, this is just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I felt like they could have easily made this movie too long. They yes. could have. And I think I, for this, this left me, I like, I left it and I'm like, I want more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think, That's I fair. think like, cause we obviously did this for Avatar and it was like a, a <laughs> very different feeling where it was like, why'd you waste all that time? Right. And yeah. they, this easily could have gotten to a situation. Like, I feel like I remember having that movie while I was watching. And I was like, damn. They're really not like they're not wasting any time here. Like this movie just <laughs> no. kind of keeps trucking along. Yeah. And but I, like, I didn't. It didn't bug me. No, it didn't bug me either. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I, honestly, it probably like it was full of fun characters and bright colors. So it probably could have been an, too long, and I probably mm -hmm. still wouldn't have really like cared. Yeah. But it definitely like I got out of that movie, and like you said, I was just like that was. I want another one. Yeah. I want. I I would go. I would go watch it again. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think for me, like what, and I don't maybe going into the movie, I wasn't expecting this, but like I think anytime you get a movie that had such deep roots mm -hmm. in like just like a community or an area or whatever so easily. like the world i guess mm -hmm. like especially when everyone was growing up when yeah. those yes. games were like i it made you feel like a kid or like go back to those moments of yeah. like being a kid and i think that's how you know that this was a really good movie is because like you're sitting there watching the movie and you're just like a you're back to being a five year old yeah. yeah yeah you're just like <laughs> yeah. holy shit it's donkey kong yeah there's so <laughs> many, there were so many of those like moments. fuck yeah he's throwing barrels yeah, Mario. exactly because exactly. exactly. well, there was one point where i forget what power up you're like yes. oh god there was a point at some point where someone sat down on one of the turtles mm -hmm. on like a bench and the turtle just started going back <laughs> yes. and forth between the end oh of the bench god, and i, I was like that is so good <laughs> yeah. that is such a great detail i love this and even at the beginning when they clearly do like the the classic Mario scroll like they're running through New York and yeah. it ends with them leaping up onto like a flag post essentially mm -hmm. and I'm like that is just like it really was how are they going to integrate all of these elements from a video game into a movie and they did it so masterfully yes. yeah. that it was just like it was it wasn't in your face but if you were a fan of Mario you appreciated mm -hmm. it and I I didn't I was so ready to be disappointed by the movie and I wasn't yeah I was if anything pleasantly surprised and I was good <laughs> right I, like you said i think it did a fantastic job of incorporating those elements from the game for the diehard fans still making a decent movie like you said it's not citizen kane and this is all relative i do feel like like it could have been a little bit longer they yes. could have dived into a little bit more and they did kind of play it safe because i know nintendo mm -hmm. yeah. had been looking to this movie like we can't mess this up yeah and they clearly didn't because it's raking at the box office yeah. right now. Like, there's going to be plenty more Mario and Nintendo movies well, in general. After yeah, and this. I think I think alternatively they they could have set themselves up to to just beat this, like just to beat this into the ground, mm -hmm. and had introduced Yoshi and all of the characters in this first one, true. and then still done a sequel because it yeah. still probably would have been as, success, as mm -hmm. successful. People are still going to see and it. And it's the second movie, and you're like, okay. It's yeah. just more Mario characters doing Mario shit. At right. least with the second one, you're now like, oh my god, I can't wait to see what they do with Yoshi. And also, yeah. what are they going to have Waluigi and Wario? And yeah. Like, there's a potential, like, I mean, now I'm getting ahead of myself, but like, you could do a whole storyline mm. and still not really introduce Wario or Waluigi and then have a third movie where that is the storyline. Well, you think some right. of the, the, even the side characters, right? Like, even like, Boo, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. just there for the wedding <laughs> yeah, or something. Exactly. Like, there's little things. And I think, like, if they continue to do this correctly, mm -hmm. and maybe this is, like, Nintendo's big picture, right, is, like, Mario had its time, mm -hmm. right? And then now you're just like, oh, like, it's the old Nintendo games and stuff. Like, it could, in a way, reopen itself into a whole new 
like well, world. Yeah, type I mean, of the reality thing. is they made a bunch of Mario video games. There's nothing stopping them from making a bunch of Mario movie, movies. And then there's also like, uh, like Luigi. He has his whole haunted mansion thing. Like that. Oh that's a God. whole other movie. And you know, Charlie Day is gonna knock that out. Of the park. <laughs> okay, that that brings me to my next question that I was gonna ask because there are so many different video games and IPs that they could go later on down. We know it'll be a Mario sequel at yeah. some point. But like, what is one game or IP that you want Nintendo to do next after Ooh. seeing this? I mean, the Luigi in the Haunted Mansion, I think, is definitely uh, Luigi's Mansion is a classic. It's and- a classic. <laughs> it would be. It's hard not to go there. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I definitely. I think. I think you could. You could go more into the Donkey Kong. Exactly. Diddy right. Kong, I was going. Just whatever. However, that. Yes. Diddy Kong made an appearance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. at one point, they all that. Yeah. One, yeah. But um, I'm glad they. I'm glad they. Had that it. in there. Yeah. I think you could do that. Like, I definitely think you could do kind of a like a Wreck It Ralph kind of thing where the the bad guy becomes the good guy yeah. kind of thing. Um, so that would, that would be interesting, I think. But that, I think the, the Haunted Mansion is the most obvious. Like yeah. that, there's they, that seems like it would have so many legs. Yeah, yeah. The Donkey Kong Country references were fantastic yeah. in this one because I love those games growing up. Um, for me, obviously, we are all going to be dying to see Yoshi in the sequel. Yes. There, it was spoiler alert, but it was teased in yeah. the yeah. post credit scene. I didn't he know didn't until know. he just told me. So oh, really? I, yes. Okay. So we went the first time and we saw the first post credit scene and it was obviously like Bowser, like <laughs> mini one playing the, the Peach song again, mm. which was phenomenal. And then so I'm sitting there the second time and like there's still people like sitting there. So I'm like, okay, maybe like I missed something the first time. Mm. Shout out OGs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and sure enough, like after the credits, it cuts back to like the the sewer place where they were and it's just the slight zoom yeah. on the egg and I saw the egg crack and you hear the, the like the Yoshi. I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh. Like yeah. I'm so excited. And there's so many characters, mm. right, that like you guys have already brought up that weren't introduced. Like Yoshi uh, Waluigi, Wario, mm-hmm. Bowser Jr., Pete, yeah. like or Daisy, Daisy. Mm-hmm. like there's literally so many characters that like, yeah, part two, part three, part four, like, I'm, and also there's there's the baby Mario and all that, like, yeah, they can go yeah. back and do a baby and they, Mario. Well, they did, they do, yeah, they, they do a quick yeah. little flashback, and mm-hmm. even that was something where it's like. If you didn't ever play the like those games, mm. you'd be like, okay, like that's just like Baby Mario, Baby Luigi. But even right. to like their eyes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be spot on yeah. to the baby oh, version. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think that's one thing about like you mentioned the the first Mario movie they made. It's like they they could not, they didn't have like the technical capabilities of making a movie like this, where you can make a movie in the exact animation style that the games are now in. Yeah, right. Because obviously the old ones were two D, and you can't make that movie. Yeah, like and and, and so. <laughs> To be able to do this, where like it quite, it is exactly how what it's not like the fucking like what we almost got into with the Sonic movie, where yeah, the first oh one was like God, that looks oh nothing goodness. like Sonic. Yeah, it's like this one you have three D characters that you can make three D characters, and it made the movie work that much better because yeah. at no point are you distracted by the like that's not what he really looks like. That's a little right. weird. Like you don't get distracted by that at any point. Yeah, and because Nintendo has their fingerprints all over this, they can literally recreate anything yes. from their games, like. They could they could do their Guardians of the Galaxy style movie where they bring in Rosalina and it goes yep, yep. super galactic on it. Like there's just so many. Which I am at this point. <laughs> you do it like the first one, man. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna go see if you are just gonna take it, my take yeah, my take money. money. Do the MCU, but make it Mar- the Mario. I, mean, I yes. am not opposed. Movies. I am not opposed. Why not? Because yeah. like like all of these characters, even like like Yo- like you could do so much with Yoshi. You could do so much with like Bowser and making mm-hmm. him a good guy. Whatever. Like whatever you want it to be and honestly if the movie gets to a point or if this franchise gets to a point where it establishes itself as like oh we're not like we are we are hip and we're up to date you can go back to the the peach getting kidnapped by bowser thing because right. i don't think you could have come out the gate with with that for no. a couple of reasons but if you if you like i said if you establish that you're like not a complete waste of time as a franchise yeah and you are being adventurous and you're yeah. not just falling back on these old tropes you could probably make a way to make that work which is going to which would work because that is the story that everyone knows is, right. is, is bowser kidnapping peach and it's yeah. wild because after one movie i'm already thinking of like the big crossover movie where they all come like a big super smash brothers movie Dude, yes that would hit so if hard Pikachu ever shows up in a fucking <laughs> mario I'm movie not, I'm my yeah. mind <laughs> i will lose my mind it, or if we just get if we could just get sonic versus mario oh, oh man. That's, uh, just that oh boy oh we get oh some, boy get some star fox air support could up you there at any point if any point or kp pound just any of this shit just i will lose my mind oh my god the first time i see kirby eat mario i'm gonna lose my shit zelda turns into fucking 
or yeah, it turns into fucking uh, what's her name? Yes, Sheik. Sheik, yeah. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh okay. my god. That, oh my god. That's <laughs> the other thing too. Is I feel like I hope that Nintendo doesn't just sit back on the safe kind of yes. yeah. This because I, hope they get I feel like with the way that they were able to adapt this, I was playing Metroid Prime because they remastered that for the Switch uh, not long ago. And like Legend of Zelda, like Metroid Prime could be an actual really good like horror space movie if Nintendo wanted to finally go the mature route. Mm -hmm. um, Zelda would Dude, still be a fantastic so TV good. show or game. I feel like they shouldn't just limit it to, you know, cartoon characters that they can put in this kid friendly yeah. crossover movie. Yeah. I do want to see them branch out, but that's. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, what the, the that's what the MCU did. Like, yeah. they, they they got and they I think they established themselves and then they got more and more adventurous and more like mm -hmm. and that'll not never make, end. not making children's movies necessarily. Yeah. Right. Um. And I do think there is so much. It's when you when you have a a property that is quite literally like an it's entire an entire universe. Mm -hmm. Like there there by virtue of it being a universe, so many legs to it. Mm -hmm. Um. It's. I'm very excited to see. I hope they do get a little more adventurous with it. Not only that, but just like you have the whole universe, right? But part of what made the MCU so successful was them coming back to it at a time when that generation had grown up. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. can like almost the like I said, reading comic books can now can go back and be like, oh, go my God, movies. like I'm, t I'm right. back to being a kid again type of thing. Right. Like you are reaching that point now. Where the people that grew up on Nintendo, mm -hmm. like you start to remake those video games into movies, <laughs> mm -hmm. like you are going to make yeah. a killing. And I mean, I, I, uh, that's why. Oh man, I think life is going to be really good for like, the, <laughs> uh, like the next, like in terms of entertainment. Because you think about it, like they they did exactly that with um, Toy Story. Like they waited mm -hmm. until all the kids who watched Toy Story grew up, and then they made a movie about that kid growing up <laughs> right. and giving away his toys. Yeah. Right. Right. Like I think we're getting to a point now where all the shit that we enjoyed that that was such good content can now be made into new content mm -hmm. and we're going to get a bunch of that and I'm excited to be alive boys <laughs> yes it's a good time to be alive it's a good time oh to be alive kind of yeah, Nintendo family <laughs> um, any final thoughts before we give out our scores okay I mean we, now we have to talk about the best character of the oh entire movie oh my god Luma. Yes. Luma that yes. star was holy <laughs> shit chef's kiss. to this like at this point Totri and I have probably repeated <laughs> the final uh, final line of that movie like most of the times. lines yeah but the, specifically the it's oh see that's a happy ending. Or it's over it? now, <laughs> or is it? Because it's just you and the endless void. Kind of makes you want to play, play, play the sax, huh? doesn't it? The funniest point of that movie. Like that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. It was amazing. Oh, and the, the one-liners, one dude. Yeah. The one-liners. Luigi yeah. gets here and he's like, "What is this place?" Just yeah. swinging around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're, they're 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 getting lowered to the lava. Yep. Mercy. Yeah, mercy. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's the most the then darkest. Up. Yep. Boom. <laughs> yeah, like, such an unexpected dark character yes. in, a, in a package of happiness that I was just not prepared for right. at all, yeah. and it came out of nowhere. I was just like, "Oh, this is so, this is so yes. good!" And then again, "Peaches" is a, is a song yeah. of our generation. Yeah. It's a great song. A song Have you generation. watched the actual music video shot yes. by uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Lyrical Lemonade? That's so good. It's fantastic. If you have not seen it, you should watch it. But to your point about Luma, like that was. That was what I meant about like you don't have to play it completely safe yes. because that character was like outside the bounds and was so was funny. a top three yeah. character and yes. said maybe ten words yeah. right it was fantastic and honestly I think it came out hot with the movie just like the penguins were hilarious yeah yes. or feel <laughs> our wrath yeah that do you do yield <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then they just get rocked immediately <laughs> and I had seen that scene a number of times because it had been released prior yeah. I didn't realize it was the opening of the movie and it was right. honestly a pretty good way to start the movie yeah yeah, yeah. it was fantastic oh, um goodness. guys you're Final score out of 10. I'll let you go. Am I rating this as a movie or am I rating this as a Mario movie? You, can, it's a Mario you movie? can do both. Okay. As, like as a movie, I'm giving it a seven out of 10. Yes. I enjoyed it. it. Like It was not a Citizen Kane. It was not a, it was not a like good movie, but it was a great movie. <laughs> right. Like as a Mario, it was a, it was 11 out of 10 out of a Mario movie. It was more mm. than I ever would have expected out of it. Right. Um, but as, yeah, as a regular movie, I, I'll give, I'm giving it an eight. I, okay. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to watch it again, and okay. I keep talking about it. And yeah. I think that is a, <laughs> yeah. a good, like, I and with no complaints. And I think that's a good a sign of a solid movie. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I am going to, I'm going to have to agree. I can't, I can't, like, remove it from a Mari <laughs> movie to just, like, a regular movie. Mm -hmm. For me, a sign of a good movie is if I keep talking about yeah. it, mm -hmm. and if I go see it again. Mm -hmm. And if I go see it again, and I'm not disappointed, and I pick up more things, and like I'm left of like, damn, like that was just a good time both mm -hmm. times. It was, it was, yeah. You left being like, it was worth spending my money on seeing something I just saw. The only <laughs> reason that this movie for me doesn't get a literal ten is because like 
I want to like I I want the second one now. There's more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want the second one. I need my Yoshi now. <laughs> literally right now. Um, other than that, I gotta give it a nine. I literally continue to talk about it. I listen to Peaches like it's it's. I know I'm gonna get to my Spotify Wrapped at the end of the year, and it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. in my top hundred. I genuinely like, can't think of a, of a movie I I enjoyed. Like obviously Avatar is a better movie, but I didn't enjoy watching no. Avatar as much as I enjoyed watching this. <laughs> and Mario outside movie. of and like laughing at the whales, yeah, like it was just it was just fun, man. Yeah. It was just a, it was it was it was it was a movie. Like it's been a long time i feel like since we've gotten a movie that was like well done so not cocaine bear and also meant nothing <laughs> yes. like that well, yes. i didn't walk away trying to think or figure anything out yeah. it was just a fun movie and i enjoyed it yeah like, yeah it was a i leave the movie i'm like fuck yeah i'm smiling and then like that was the best yeah, part like, of my we day. literally right. walked out of the movie and we kind of looked at each other we're like that was i like that a happy dose of, dose of nostalgia yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. um, definitely going to be looking forward to the next one. And hopefully we get something that's not just a straight up sequel before then. Because like we've said, there's so many different characters that they yeah. have. Yeah. There's so many different offshoots that they could do, especially with the way they casted. Like I, I've already seen people on Twitter going through who's going to play Wario, who's going to play Waluigi. And some of the the recommendations, Danny DeVito, are fantastic. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Slowly just turn this into It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Just have the cast oh take over. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for this edition I'm of wild. G-Rated. You can follow Sean at Sean underscore, underscore Depause. You can follow Totri at Anthony underscore Totri. And you can follow me at Gerald Borgay. Until next time, keep it G-Rated. Yahoo! <laughs>